Welcome to this last episode about sections. This time we are going to talk about printing and many other aspects. Here is a common requirement. The first page of the printout has to be on a special paper. And the remaining pages are on regular paper. Judicial paper or stamp paper. Or you are printing some kind of booklet or a report. And the first page is a cover page and that has to be glossy. If that is the only requirement, then you don't need sections. All that you need to do is to go to page setup. How do you go to page setup? Layout, page setup, this corner. Or if you are seeing the ruler, uh, upper part of ruler, you double click. Lower part is tabs. You go to the paper part and say first page, different tray and other pages, different tray. In this case, it's showing default tray because there is only one tray for the currently selected printer. I'm going to change the printer and then see what happens. Now that the printer supports multiple trays, we can do this. We can say that the glossy paper is in tray 1 and other pages, regular paper is in tray 2. And that's it. And the job is done. No sections required. Have you seen a stamp paper? It looks like this. So the upper part goes in the stamp and you have very little space below. I want a huge top margin. And most people are going to do that by pressing enter, enter, enter here. That's a bad idea. So what should you do? Put a proper top margin. But wait, if I put a top margin, if it's single section, it's going to increase the margin for everything. So here is the deal. If you want a special first page, first of all, put a section break. We already know how to do that. New section, new page. So now I have section one and we have section two from second page onwards. Now that section one is different, that means I can change everything in the page layout. So here I will put margin, which is much bigger. Test it out to make sure that that margin is enough. Once it is done, only the first page of the first section has to use special paper. So now what do we do? Again, go to page setup. Now notice we are applying whatever it is to this section. Go to paper and here you say assuming tray one is special tray. All the pages here, special tray, because right now there is only one, but never mind. And for section two, you go there. And here, assuming tray two is the regular paper, you say regular paper for everything. And that's how you customize exactly what goes where. Now, you may think creating a section here is an overkill. No. Why? Because when you usually have a special paper on the front, there will be a special paper at the back. Now, in case... The first page was legal and the last page was just a glossy paper. Then you will have to create another section and remove that extra margin. Another interesting thing you may need, especially in legal cases, is line numbering. And that can be enabled from here. Go to page setup. Go to layout. So I'm saying line numbers. Add line numbers. Start at 1. Prompt text auto. Restart for each page. No, continuous. OK. And then click OK. So now what happens? from this point onwards, all the way to the end of the document. And this works very well on printout. You just follow the number. You don't need to worry about which page, which paragraph. Now, I hope you understand why sections are underrated, but amazingly powerful. Please share it with people. Tell me how you use it in comments and give me ideas about more videos. More stuff coming soon. But that's it for now. Thank you.